Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Um, Friday. Woohoo! <laughs> so, um, not that that means, much, means a whole lot to me, but because um, I work every day. But uh, today I wanted to go over real quick, just kind of give an update on my um, my status. I don't know my um, yeah, how I'm doing with my squats. So I've um, been practicing them for several months now, um, and I've changed my form a little bit. Um, for a long time, I was doing them you know, a little bit wider stance with my feet pointing out. I've changed that to a, bit, a little bit more of a narrow stance with my feet pointing straight ahead. Um, now, I don't have as much range of motion in this stance, um, which is fine. I'm working on that. Um, it's always a work in progress, right? So I'm going to go ahead and pick up a bar, and I do these with, you know, fairly light weight because I'm still practicing them. Um, I'm, you know, I'm not doing them for really heavy weight because my form's not, I mean, nobody's form's perfect, right? But, um, so I just want to show you how I'm, how I'm doing them now. Um, and get the bar over here. I'm going to stand a little bit closer to the mirror than I normally do because of the angle of the camera. But, um. So I'm keeping my feet at hip width apart now, and I'm focusing on kind of getting my butt behind me as I start and trying to keep my back as straight as possible. And right about here is when I start to feel my butt kind of want to um, tuck under. So that's where I stop, and that's where I don't have... You know, that's basically where my range of motion stops when I'm doing these. So just as a comparison, I'll show you what I look like in the wider stance. I can go down a whole lot farther. Um, but I'm trying to keep my back as straight as possible. And like I said, that's as far as I can go down. Without kind of totally losing it. And that's, you know, most likely a, um, a range of motion issue in my hips. And probably also a little bit in my calf muscles, my Achilles tendon. Um, I'll probably start doing some um, combat stretches to help with that. I do my hip stretches. I've already, before I made this video, I did my warm up and um, my priming movements. And I'll probably add a couple priming movements to that to help get me lower in the squat. Um, but, like I said, it, it's always a work in progress, right? So. It doesn't matter, you know, start where you can start, go down as far as you can go down, and just kind of keep working at it, keep plugging away. Um, I'm going to be working on these for another couple of weeks, and then I'm actually, well, maybe another week or so, and then I'm actually going to completely switch gears for a little while and focus on kettlebell movements, because I haven't, I don't have a ton of experience in those. And I'm going to start um, doing a whole bunch of those. So look forward to kettlebell videos. I'm really excited about that. Um, so anyway, I hope that this video was somewhat useful. Um, at the very least, to give you a little bit of, uh, you know, inspiration to keep going, keep plugging away at it. I'm not perfect. Nobody really is. Um, as a dressage rider, I know that because <laughs> it's never a 10, right? Um, but anyway, so I hope you enjoyed that. And please, uh, please share this video, subscribe to my channel, and um, you can find me on Facebook and Instagram as well. And I hope you all have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend. 
and I will be back on Sunday with another video. I'm not sure what about yet. I'm going to figure that out. So I hope you'll have a wonderful day.